Hi, this is Matt Rausch, Senior Critic for TV Insider, and here's what's worth watching for the week of September 20th. It is now officially premiere week on network television. The shows you've been waiting to come back, the shows you've heard about that are brand new, they're almost all premiering this week or over the next couple of weeks, but still, this is the official premiere week. It means a new season of Dancing with the Stars, new season of NCIS, which is now on Mondays. But let's talk about a couple of new shows that are premiering this season. And we're going to start with Monday Night, Ordinary Joe, on NBC. It is not an ordinary series. This is NBC's next attempt to try to do something heart-tugging in the tradition of This Is Us because this is going to be This Is Us's final season. So Ordinary Joe, they hope, will catch on. The idea of it is that there's an ordinary guy called Joe, but he's making a major life choice as he graduates from college. And this choice will send him down three different life paths. You will see him go down one road as a rock star, which is his big dream. He diverts his dream on one timeline to become a cop just like his dad and like his uncle. And then on the third timeline, he becomes a nurse. Um, and so you've got hospital drama in that timeline. And each episode, the stories kind of connect. So you see how uh, a decision he made as a cop affects how it turns out in one of his other timelines and also the people that he chooses to be in his life because he has two love interests. So it's all that. It's romantic. It's dramatic. It's a bit fantastic. And it stars James Wolk, who I have been waiting to become a big TV star for quite a while. He is extremely charismatic, especially as the rock star. But at the same time, all three Joes together make a really intriguing series but it all begins this week on Monday on NBC. On Wednesday, ABC revives a classic title from the past, The Wonder Years. The Wonder Years was a wonderful coming-of-age show uh, several decades ago, all about life in the 60s. Well, we're back in the 60s, but we're back with a new family and a new young boy who is coming of age. It is not Kevin Arnold anymore. It is a boy called Dean Williams. The adult version is voiced by Don Cheadle, telling the story from his adult future, but looking back on his childhood in the 60s. Of course, the 60s for a black family in Alabama was much different different than what the Arnolds were living in suburbia. So you're going to deal with civil rights issues, a lot of the turbulence that's happening in the world, but it's really contained to this family and this young boy, Dean Williams, who is growing up in the South as a black boy. Dooley Hill, who was in the West Wing and Psych, plays his dad, who's sort of a funky musician, but also a really cool father figure. And also adding to the nostalgia factor is the fact that Fred Savage, who grew up in front of our eyes playing Kevin Arnold on The Wonder Years, is an executive producer, and he directs the first episode. He's now a big TV director. So there's a little bit of a continuity, I guess, in the Wonder Years. So uh, to me, it's a wonderful franchise. And to have it back on ABC starting Wednesday is a really good thing. On Sunday, we have an awards show that we have not seen in a couple of years because Broadway went completely dark during the pandemic. And now we have the Tony Awards. Looking back at a season that was cut off short when the pandemic happened in 2020. But the first hour of the Tony Awards is going to be streaming only on Paramount+. Plus. After the Tony Awards segment is over on Paramount+, Plus, CBS will give you a two-hour primetime special called Broadway's Back. And the idea here is, you know, with Leslie Odom from Hamilton being the host, you're going to see performances from the nominated musicals, including Moulin Rouge, which is a huge hit. And you also see big numbers from all the classic musicals that are back on the boards. So it won't be like a traditional Tony Awards because this hasn't been a traditional year, but I think in terms of a celebration of theater reopening its doors, not just on Broadway, but on theaters all across the country. Broadway's back is going to be a celebration any theater fan is going to want to see. This is Matt Rausch for TV Insider. For more news, reviews, and what's hot and streaming, check out TV Insider today. If you enjoy these reviews on TV Insider, hit subscribe.